Welcome back to Daybreak this morning. We have Mercy pediatrician Dr. Laura Waters here with us in the studio and your handy dandy first aid kit. Absolutely. I know you've been getting probably a lot of questions lately. The kids are outside playing more, mm -hmm. which means maybe falling more, getting stung by more things. So, what are some tips you have? So one of the things that we get a lot of phone calls in our office about is uh, mosquito bites and insect stings, which okay. are very common, sure. especially in the summertime. Mm -hmm. So one of the first things that you want to do is not really panic, um, which some parents actually do. So um, the first thing that you want to do if you, your child gets a mosquito bite or an insect sting, um, so first with mosquito bites is basically just um, you know remove them from the area so that they don't get, keep getting <laughs> bit by mosquitoes. A dozen of them, yeah. Um, and then go ahead and and um, bring them inside. Um, and then go ahead and just wash the area off with soap and water, and that's going to be the regular rule for just about anything we talk about today. Um, good old soap and water is the best thing to just start with. And then um, apply some hydrocortisone, and then put some cold compresses or some ice on there to reduce okay. the swelling. Um, the hydrocortisone is going to help to minimize a lot of the swelling and things. And you can do that multiple times a day to kind of help bring that down. Um, if you notice any kinds of signs of infection, the child's picking at it and things, and those would be reasons to call the doctor. But a lot of times you can do these things at home. Okay, good to know. Um, what about animal bites? Is that something you get calls on very often? Yeah, so animal bites, um, especially from dogs or cats, um, can be potentially serious. Okay. If it is um, just a simple, you know, your puppy bit your toddler or whatever, um, and it's not a large puncture or the skin has not been torn or ripped, mm -hmm. um, then you can just really clean that area with good soap and water. And you want to make sure it's running water. To reduce the risk of infection from um, the water that's sitting. Um, and so, really rinse that area out, use good soap and water, and then apply some antibiotic ointment to it um, and watch it um, so that then you can see if there are any signs of infection that develop, then um, you would want to bring your child in. Those things would be like redness, okay. oozing, a lot of pain, um, swelling to that area that seems out of proportion to the injury. Those sorts of things would be reasons to call and bring the child in. Okay. Um, what else? Is there like one more thing that's maybe your most common calls for first aid that parents yeah. can take care of at home? So burns are pretty common, um, and the things that we recommend um, is first to just run the area under cold water. So if okay. your child, you know, touches your curling iron or your straightener or things, or accidentally, you know, the iron, um, then go ahead and just rinse that area with cold water and keep it running and keep it going. Because the first thing you want to do is cool the burn down, and then apply some moisturizer to the area. Things like Vaseline um, or petroleum jelly are your best bet. Um, and um, honestly, you can get by with a very few things. Um, okay. um, yeah, real quick, can we put up? Yes, these are yeah. your must have first aid items. You said petroleum jelly, like you mentioned, hydrocortisone cream, some great things to have and maybe jot down for your Absolutely. All parents. You can get away with pretty much just having those things in your first aid kit and treat most things that you're going to encounter for your child. Okay, Dr. Waters, thanks for being here yeah. this morning. We'll be right back with uh, the top three things you need to know if you're just waking up.